Okay, I am finally ready to start shaping my flower petal. At this point, it may be helpful for you to pull up some pictures of flowers. Uh, I've pulled up this daisy, and you can see the petal. It's a little square on top. It's got some seams running down here. It's kind of pointed towards the bottom. And it's got a nice gentle curve, almost like a C shape. So having this picture up is going to help me as I go through trying to shape out my petal. For me, this petal is maybe a little bit too wide, so I will go back into my polycube input, and I will take this width value, and maybe around 0.5 is going to be better for me. Now I'm going to use my orthographic views. I'll start in the front view, and in the front view, what I want to get is just a little bit thinner at the top, and the bottom, so my petal has some taper to it. I'm going to do this in vertex mode by window selecting the top vertices here and then using my scale tool. The scale tool is the R key on the keyboard, so I pressed R, and now to make this thinner, I'm going to use this red orthographic handle, the x-axis handle, and you see that that gives me that nice point across the top of the petal. I will repeat the process down here. I will window select these vertices and just scale them in. If I want to make any other changes, I still can. As a quick tip, if I right click and go into edge mode, these central edges I can double click select and that will let me maybe stretch this out a little bit just give it some nice waves so that it's not one solid shape and that'll make it a little bit more organic. The reason that I didn't double click this edge here at the top is let me zoom in here You'll see that it doesn't double click all the way around, it stops at the front. That's because these vertices here, this one here and this one here, they've only got three edges coming into them. That means that they don't really know which way they're going. So instead of continuing, they just stop. These edges here, these vertices here, they've got four edges coming in, so they do go all the way around. So when I'm working on the body of the petal, I can use edge mode and double click and then scale. When I'm working on the top and bottom of the petal, I'm going to be using vertex mode and window selecting. Now that I've got this set up in the front viewport, I can look around at my other viewports I will pause here, and in the next video, I will move on to talking about the other viewports.